Chapter 10, Prisoner Release. Sounds like fun to me. Unless, of course, you're the catcher, not the pitcher. Ha ha ha! Jailhouse rape. Anyway. Hey. Oh, it's one of my countrymen. How nice. I knew, he, I, knew I liked that guy for a reason. Oh, you know, no big deal. He's just doing his thing, helping out. And he is the dutiful one. More like the beautiful one. He's so beautiful. Look at him with his blue hair and his... <sighs> dreamy. Oh, are you saying something? Sorry. <laughs> uh, Bjork is... Yeah, I know what it means. You know that, did you? Well, let me tell you something else. I want to make out with you. Everyone wants Ike. He fights for his friends, you know. It is an insult. <laughs> uh, I wasn't really paying attention to the previous chapters, but I'm sure if we go back, Leth will have been calling us human the whole time, making fun of us. Alright, moving on with life here. Sweet! Oh, I guess that's what we wanted the whole time. He wasn't even interested in Ike. 20,000 gold pieces. Wow, we're rich. Um, she's not the stripper around here. If that'd be to... No, she's not a stripper. She's not a stripper. Yeah, of course not. Yeah, well. That's because he's a jerk. <laughs> I, I really like the, the mental uh, chest they're pulling here that make her uh, do this. <laughs> it's almost bordering on insulting. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Put your ass into it. That's how the song goes, I'm pretty sure. That's actually with Titania Danth. No, she's not a stripper. Never mind. Never mind, guys. She's not even on the screen. I'm making stripper jokes. It's, it's going to be a good day. Sweet. Oh, Ike just moved in a little closer. You got some money, baby? I'm moving in with you. Yeah. So we're going to have to go back across the border and get ourselves in trouble. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. That's not good. Yeah. And we're going to get a couple beasties to come with us. Hooray! <laughs> See, she's calling us a human. Uh, so she only she only respects strength. So, she thinks she's better than Mordecai. She's not. She really isn't. Of course you won't, Mordecai. I'll throw you overboard on the ship if you do. And I'll just row to shore on your back, you big, beautiful man, you. Well... I should be careful what I say, because he's actually like a beast, and that might indirectly make me a furry, and that's that's not who I am. Sorry, guys. If that's your thing? Cool. It's not mine. MVP was Oscar. Good work, buddy. You did it. And we got a whole bunch of whack of new allies. Nice! Yeah. Permanent injury is if somebody who's important to story stuff gets killed in battle, they don't stay dead. They just can't fight anymore. So they're still around for their story parts, but they can no longer be called on to fight. All right. Anyone need anything? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Uh. Wait, can I sell this from here? Yeah, I probably can. Oh, yeah. oh, you can sell everyone's in one big go. Well, that's beautiful. I didn't know you could do that. Wait, where's the damn? Uh... There it is. Twenty-five hundred gold. Hooray! Somebody got thirty grand. We rich. We so rich. We don't know what to do with ourselves. That's how rich we are. Anyway, that's really not that rich, honestly. And you're going to go to the convoy, and you're going to get rid of that. Uh, what does that do again? That's right. We'll get rid of that for the moment. That'll be useful for somebody in the future, but not right now. And you've got a whole crap of crappity crap. Uh huh. And you probably don't need pure water right now, so you can just get rid of that. And yeah, wait, hey, hey. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. I'm going to give away your claws. Is that okay? Is that cool? Cool. Cool. Glad you agree. Not that you have much of a choice, but, you know, it is what it is. Alright. Could we award some experience here real quick? Anyone who we want to actually award it to? Uh, uh, uh. Let's give her a little more, because I like giving her as much as she can handle, because, well, let's face it. She gets pretty sweet. And another one that needs as much help as she can get. Let's get her some more experience. Nice. And missed. You better believe that's a padlet. She's going to need all kinds of loving to get up. Well, that sounds kind of gross. She's a child. But regardless, another one that needs some help too is her. But I'm not so worried about her for just yet. 
Well, what the hell. Actually, no, not yet, because she's not going out this round, so I'll wait. I'm not going to sign any skills right now. Let's go do the supports. I can now talk to Titania. Well, thank the goodness for that. Of course he is. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty... What, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, you put a finishing touch on his swordmanship, if you know what I mean, in the champagne room. I mean, no, no, she's not a stripper. Okay, that's three. Three in the first, oh, I don't know, five minutes. It's pretty solid. Um, yeah, that's true. She used to be a Crimean knight. Crimean, Crimean. Crimea River, I can't say that damn name right. Fine. She's really, um, loathe to actually talk about, uh, his dad. And, of course, these two can support one another, because they're, like, hanging out all the time, playing Nintendo, just doing their thing. Yep. You have. Because otherwise, you, you'd have to be living in a shoe, and that's not cool. What can you do when you live in a shoe? And the answer is, I have no idea. Oh, man. I'll feather a horde of slobbering enemies. What about the ones that aren't slobbering? Ever think about that, you green-haired little tool? That's what I thought. You didn't think at all. All right, only three conversalations. I, I love that when it's so important, they just cover their eyes. Whether it's someone wearing a helmet or they put a band over, you just can't see who they are. So you know, they're not really important. Uh. Of course. I understand that. I mean, it's racist as hell, but all right, I can understand that. I, I'm not racist to you. You're being horrible. Let's talk to the crazy girl. This dealy bobber? This dealy bobber? <laughs> this dealy bobber. I'm not even paying attention to what she... You're a hoot handsome. I love Marsha. She's awesome. Aw, <laughs> oh, sweet. Pack this. Go here. Pack this. Fun stuff. Stab that person. You know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not using her for this map, by the way, because it's just not a good area for her. <laughs> Ugly boat monkeys. <laughs> She's racist. Oh, hilarious. And let's go talk to Miss Bitchy Bitch. Open your eyes. <laughs> hey, baby, you seem depressed. <laughs> Mm. True. Oh no, what is that for? <laughs> That's a good point. Ah. She was almost going to admit to liking us, but that's too bad. Too bad for her. Anyway, let's leave the base and get rolling here. Because I'm not buying anyone any crap. Ooh, story time. I like story time. Oh, yeah. Good for Ike. It's good to have a job, though. I mean, other than this, their job prospects are pretty pitiful. Now, here's what I don't get. Why can't they just go right into Benyon through the, uh, the border? fiefdom. <laughs> Man, they control a big chunk of that territory. That's that's interesting. Oh, impassable mountain range. There's your answer. If only we could fly, but we can't. So now we gotta get a ship and sail the freaking long ass way to but but f nowhere here. Well, it's not nowhere, but you get what I'm saying. Sounds like a plan. Whoa, that's pretty angular. Alright. Wounded spirits. Oh, we're sad. No, butt scratcher. You know what I mean? Like, get over it. <laughs> we should probably just stop by a castle. <laughs> yeah, let's stop there. That's a good idea. Ooh, maybe we should stop there. Yeah, that would be quite a boon indeed, wouldn't it? So, we're going to go on a rescue. And we're going to get right to it. And I think I see one of our people right there. That that green-haired, uh, blue-armor-wearing chicky-poo. There looks like a knight. 
Right there is a... I'm not sure who that is. Everyone just kind of comes plomping on in. Uh, that's a good question indeed. Logic, the keys would be in possession of the jailer and choice but to steal them. And yeah, here's the thing though. Yeah, if you... If anyone sees you or you attack anybody, even if you kill them, they'll raise the alarm and bring everybody running to your location. So they try to kind of make it sound like you should do this mission stealth-wise. And I'll get into the, the business of whether you should or should not. Oh, some of business for Sir Grail. Hmm. That'll be impossible. We kind of buried his ass. <laughs> exactly, that is a problem. Volk. I don't know, might be Volk. Yeah, I'm in intelligence. <laughs> Indeed he did. Yep. How much? 50,000, which we do not have. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm, must have had a good reason. He's being pretty trusting. Yeah, exactly. You have no idea. No one's seen this guy before. You're going to trust that? Yep. Another bar key. You need a fireman? I'll be with it. See you within an hour. That's a unique way to get your stuff done. <laughs> Can you open locks? Of course. 50 gold per lock. Yeah, exactly. Now, if we hire him, it's going to cost us 10,000 gold plus 50 per lock. But if you don't hire him here, I don't know if you can recruit him until, like, a long time later. Or maybe just a few chapters. But I always hire him, so I'm going to hire, hire away here. Yep. <laughs> Objections? You've already agreed to it. She really has no power to say anything here. Yeah, good luck and all that. I'm not going to help you. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Have fun. Don't let the bed bugs bite your ass. Actually, first of all, let's reposition people here. Um, um, mm, mm. Healer man, you can get the hell out of the way. Folks, right there. We got her. She's right there. She's right there. Okay. So, let's see. Basically, what we're going to do is um, you have a choice. You can try to. How it works is you see how, like, right now, if you highlight these guards, because they like to move around. I uh, see there's two in here Kieran and Braum. Anyway, you can move around anywhere they're not, and they'll move, and then you'll, they'll just adjust their sight vision. Their sight vision is how far they can move. If they finish within sight of you, they can take you down. It's very difficult to sneak through here without the guards seeing you and allowing you to release everybody. Nephany is the third one there. And you can also get these treasures because these guys don't move and they won't set the alarm off. That's the leader, by the way. He's a general of some repute. You can get all these treasures and everything else and you want to get out of here and escape. However, I don't think there's a turn limit. So you can choose... Uh, well, there's a turn limit on the bonus experience you win for getting people out of here. You can get up to, I think, 800 bonus experience, which is nothing to sneeze at, right? But... It is such a huge pain in the ass. I'm talking a ridiculous, ridiculous pain in the ass. To try to sneak through here. I'm just going to set off the alarm, let the entire garrison come in. I'm going to hole up right down here, and I'm just going to wipe everybody out. The experience more or less equals out. It's really, if you want to do it, you can do it. It's a little extra challenge, but the way I'm going to do it honestly makes more sense to how I think it should go. So let's see. Who do we want to bring into this map who probably doesn't need to come in here right now? We do need to have some decent strength out here, so we're going to leave them. Uh, we'll set Riss. Uh, and we'll bring in Mist. And I'm going to probably leave Rolf out for now, because this is a map where we need more strength than anything. It's okay to hit your cleric, doesn't really matter for strength. I'm going to keep everybody else here. I'm going to keep Volk for his thief abilities. Because that guy can do some nice stuff. So let's get a fight going here, and we're not going to waste any time. First move is with Titania. She's going to murder this guy. Like, we're talking, like, destroy his life forever. And in his dying breath, he's going to go, Guards! Help! Oh, he hit me. Good for him. I mean, that's no laughing matter, man. And yeah, he goes down, and that's going to set off a freaking cavalcade avalanche of enemies here. Which means this map probably... It probably takes more or less the same amount of time to do it the way I'm doing it, but still. 
My order is that. Look at that lumps on that dude's head. <laughs> One of you robbing me of my fun. He is a sick puppy, that guy. And here come the reinforcements. They even come in right behind you. How you snuck in that door in the first place? No idea. Yep. We've been spotted. Nothing to do now but fizzite, as they say. So. Can you uh, give this guy a good run for his money? Oh, you can! Well, how about you give him a really good ride to his grave? <laughs> Man, she really should have a, a short... Or, I'm going to say shorter skirt. She should really have a longer skirt on. That, she's showing a bit too much leg for, for Catholic school here. What, this doesn't remind any of you of Catholic school? You know, magic and murder and mayhem. I'm just saying, it strikes me... God, wake up, girl. You're in the middle of a battle. <laughs> oh, she's crazy. Anyway. Got a couple of those and a couple of those. Now, thieves in this game use knives. Knives are not weak or strong against anything. But they take a little bit of uh, fedangling to get them to do what you want them to do. So, I just got to think my way through this. Because basically, I'm going to... I'm going to try to set up like a, a barrier maybe here or out here. I maybe have to keep people here because they may keep setting reinforcements in. It has been a while since I played this map, as I said. Man, oh man, she's got nothing doing there. Hmm, how are we going to do this, guys? How do you want to do this is the question. Uh, that guy's got some serious speed going on. Good for him, buddy. You did it. You've got speed. Coming out the wazoo. All right, let's do that. See if he gets an adept off. Maybe he'll get to get the kill. Get to get to get the kill? No. No, he won't. But that's okay. He's doing all right by me. Because C is for cookie, and that is indeed good enough for me. This will be enough to murder this guy. Murdering people is one of my favorite uh, vocations, incidentally. Second favorite? Undertaker. It's, it's, it's a good job if you're a murderer. You really create business for yourself while taking care of your lust to murder people. I mean, it's win-win, guys, honestly. Uh, Mia, is that going to be enough for you? Yeah, sure, what the hell. Maybe she'll even get a couple criticals out of it get the get the kill. No, but she'll weaken the guy. That's cool. She'll get a level for it. Maybe she'll finally get some strength so she'll stop sucking so much. No, nope, no, nope, she's just going to get some resistance. Which, don't get me wrong, resistance is always a good thing, but... Not exactly um, setting the world on fire, as it were. Jack, what can you do to this guy? You take a whole whack of damage, but you could hurt him pretty good. How about you, boy? Can you do anything to a sword wielder? Is there any chance you could do something to him? Not really. Alright, fine. Alright, can you kill this guy? You can definitely kill this guy. Alright, Ike, you don't need the experience, but I just don't want to leave anybody alive in here right now. I want to make sure they go down. Ha, ah, you missed. And then he really made sure he was put down for the count. I mean, damn, there's like a hole in his face. And his chest. Anywhere else you can get a hole, basically. Alright, go in here and knife this guy, Volk. I honestly didn't use a lot on the way of thieves and stuff. <laughs> that is one of the lamest looking criticals I've ever seen. Could be wrong. Good for Volk, but jeez, pretty lame, Millhouse. Pretty lame. Anyone hurt? Anyone? I don't think anyone really took damage there, eh? Huh? Nobody really took the damage. All right, you can go hang out with Boyd. Just pretend you're friends. And here they come. Wonder if I have enough time to set myself up for a. Uh... I don't remember if they'll go into the cells and mess with people. I don't think so. I think they'll just leave everybody alone and just send in reinforcements every couple turns. Look at that dude. Sephirin. Sephirin? Um. <laughs> they didn't never come back. <laughs> Very good, Brom. Oh, Kira doesn't actually have eyes. He must not be important. <laughs> um, I would care about that. Oh, he's a militia man. That explains those sweet mutton chops. 
curses. Why don't you just wield him? Oh, she's not going to give up. Isn't that nice? All right. <laughs> now that we're done completely and utterly doing foolish things with our fooly foolness, let's uh just open that. Yeah, this works for me. This works for me. So far, I'm digging it. can sit right there and we're just gonna have to bring everybody else marching I still think people are gonna appear in behind the area that I'm in but things will be things as they say let's make sure we don't put anybody in harm's way cuz I mean we don't want to get anyone needlessly murdered unless they're on the other team and then we should want to get them as needlessly murdered as possible you made the wrong choice son I mean I understand Titania was up there but this is Boyd Sure, you're gonna hit him. But you're gonna get chopped down like a freaking redwood, man. How do you not know that's coming? Oh, man. And he got a level up for his weapon. Nice. And he got a dorky. Nice. He's a dorky. Nice. This is a different map I'm thinking of. There's a rush of enemies. I could have swore there was more than this. Unless, the re like I said, they reinforce a few more times, perhaps. So far, though, it doesn't look like that's on the docket at all. Alright, so far, so good, man. So far, so good. Alright, so we got him and him and him and her and him and her and her and him and her and her and him. See, I don't quite have enough to get him there. That's a shame. How about I actually just heal his stupid face and just leave him right there? We'll let the enemy come to me for one more turn. There's nothing wrong with a plan like that. And there's not a lot of ranged attackers in range yet. Everyone else has just got hand-to-hand -hand stuff. Alright, that's fine. I'll take that level up for her. I mean, defense would have been nice, but I am not going to be one of those picky people who makes a big deal of something. Because that is no fun for anybody in ever. Everybody. See, I could really create some havoc and try to go bust some chops here, but I don't want to give them too much uh, pleasure and joy in the world. Or do I? Now nah, I'll wait one more turn. It's fine. And I'll get Volky Man up here. Volky Man of the Pokemans, and wait and see what's coming for us. I kind of saw that coming, but oh well. It's only going to hurt me for probably five damage anyway. Okay, or nine. Something a little better than five. That's like basically double. Bad me. I got that a little wrong. And he won't be able to do much damage back. Oscar's strength is still a little lacking. But this is okay. It drags in the guys. Oh, we missed though. Oh, actually, okay. Alright, alright. That We can work with this. And that is an unfortunate necessity of leaving him exposed. But that's okay. I'm surprised he hit that, honestly. <laughs> that's just one of those things you don't expect to actually connect. And you, sir, are going to die. I hope you enjoyed life. It's been a good run. You got to swing at me once. Good for you. And you're toast. Once I start setting up future borders. I'm going to keep her back. I want to try to uh, get other people who have a little less experience than her ready to fight. Okay. So let's see where we stand here. We got this guy and this guy and this guy. Can you possibly use your armor slayer to hurt this guy? Not enough. Wait a minute, how much was it? 10 damage? 9 damage. Alright, well that works. Oscar, if you would be so kind, please. Hammer this guy. You can dodge his attack too if you want. Well, that just makes you even better in my book. Nice. Alright. If you would be so kind as to murder this guy, I would appreciate. 
She looks hilarious. This tiny little girl going against a huge knight. But that blade is sweet looking. How that's any... It's a pretty thick blade. I guess that's what makes it effective against armor. I'm not sure what would make that effective. I mean, the hammer makes sense. That thing just looks like it's designed ten ways from Sunday to just destroy somebody's life forever. Alright, so what do we want to do with this? Uh, I gotta think. Gotta think this through. Gotta think carefully. Gotta be part-time ninja, honestly. Speaking of part-time ninja... Oh, so close, buddy. You were so close. Because that doesn't murder him. I, gotta, I actually have to kill that guy, and this go is the problem, you see. Oh, so close there, too. Everybody getting so close up in this mug. I'm not sure why I said mug, but I did. Alright, maybe you're not done. You want to maybe just steal Lance this guy in the face just to, to make sure? Just to make sure. I just have to set it up so people can walk out there and do some murdering. Is that so wrong? Is it wrong to want to help people murder? The answer is, hell no it's not. You're at 10, you're at 9. Well, that's an easy enough math skill magician thing for me. Maybe he'll do an adept and save me a little bit of trouble. Maybe? Maybe? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Good work. That is a good work by old Sorin, man. Even though he's really more of a little boy-girl. Little racist boy-girl. But, you know, that's a whole other story that'll be uncovered through dialogue. And we'll no doubt get to that point in the uh, dialogue as we move along. First things first. Please, go heal Oscar. He needs some attention. Some of the medical variety. And you, girly girl, are gonna... That's still not a very good percentage. I am less than impressed with you right now with that percentage. But you killed him. With a thundering attack of lightning, which is recalled thunder. Oh, I'm not even getting into that whole fallacy. But anyway. And just like that, we've cleaned out what little was there already. So hey, you can run ahead and maybe trip something. Sounds like a plan. And you can be joined by Runny Thief Man. And you can go talk to this funky junk. Hey, Sephirin. Sephirin. Hm. Hm. A pilgrim. So you say. Oh, that wasn't smart. Well, I don't think they're really that concerned. Yep. Just leave all you can. And I'm just going to shove him. <laughs> and since Titania's not going to be fighting, you know what she's going to do? She's taking you with her. <laughs> awesome. Let's just keep rampaging here. I'm sure, I'm sure something bad's going to happen to me for rampaging like this, but... I'll put the brothers... Uh, I'm not sure what their last name is them out on front duty. You got a door key, did you? You did. Perfect. Ike, if you would be so kind as to run after them. And you can just go over here and be ready to help either direction. You can do the same. Alright. I'm just expecting more reinforcements. I don't know if there are, but damn it. If there's not, there should be. Also, also, by the way, you can also try to break the door down. But it takes up... Uh, it breaks your weapons quicker and everything else, so... Let's just use my door key. I've got door keys. Like, why the hell not? Let's see, what kind of range do you fine fellows have? And I think Ike has to talk to the prisoners, so we'll send him that way. And we'll send him that way. May not be wise to break all the troops up just yet, but... We'll get everyone all set and close to where we want to be. Come on now. 
Here they come. They're mad. They are less than happy with what I've been doing, I think. Now, can anyone else talk to these guys? I can shove a knight? Man, he must be one useless ass knight. I'm just keeping Soren here as backup in case something's going to appear. Just in case. It's not a, you know, it's not a definite it's going to happen or anything. It's just one of those things. Alright, alright, alright. It's alright, it's alright. Kill him. Gotcha. She's actually already showing some fairly impressive power on that magic of hers. Maybe I should have given her more of a chance in the past. Eh, we'll see. Maybe I'll grow tired of her. I just find her outfit just too outlandish for words, honestly. Alright, Volk, stab them. Yeah, see, that's more of a slash, is what you'd expect, but when he does his critical, he does that ridiculous two-hand sideways stab motion, which is... It, it's ridiculous! There's no other way to describe that. It's just... It's, it's silly. It, it, it's just downright weird. Ah, you missed. Ah, you got stabbed. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, la la ba da ba da ba dab dab Oh, he broke his iron lance. That's too bad. Wait, can they go around the top? Hey, they can if they want to. Good for them. They did it. They figured out a way to come across the top. Any chance you can do anything to this, this funky junk? Not without taking a ridiculous amount of damage. Maybe I shouldn't have left Volk all alone up front. Oh well. Let's just end our turn and see what happens. Probably should have had my axe man up there to help with all those lance wielders, but uh, it is what it is. I'm gonna get Volk killed. Sweet. That was my plan all along. Try to get my new guy killed. Actually, I think he's one of those he doesn't die, he gets permanently injured type of uh, guys. He's definitely faster than anyone else here, so I wasn't worried about him getting double struck. He is a thief after all. Nice. Stuff he has numbers in. Strength would be better, but... Okay, he's definitely got to get the F out of Dodge. Alright, talk to this fine fellow. Brom. <laughs> now we have to move. Who's Princess... You wouldn't know who the Prince... <laughs> cramp, cramp. Exactly. Direct. Uh, move up for the target area. Sweet. So now we got him where we want him. Alright, I feel relatively safe doing this. I hope it doesn't bite me in the um, area that stuff happens to you. But, you know. Alright. Enough talking, silly. Let's uh, try to thunder this guy out of existence, because that is always fun. No, always fun. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. She's really enjoying ripping people apart with that magic, man. She's just not, not disappointed in life. I'm also not disappointed in her ability to level up all of a sudden. Oh, she got some strength. That'll come in handy for opening her eyelids, maybe? Maybe that's what she needs, a certain amount of strength for that. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Alright, seriously though. Javelin man, and a short spear. Whoever I send here is going to be able to take a bit of whack of damage. Alright, so... Here's the problem. Whoever I send in here to do this is going to have to take two licks on their own. So you know what? That's fine. He can take two licks all on his own. Does anyone have a door item? No, she's got a chest key she's going to use this map, that's for sure. And I'm assuming a thief must show up here at some point and try to steal all these treasures. There's just too much treasure here waiting to be... waiting to be had, as they say. Put you right to there, honey buns. You can see if they're going to come for you. 
How far can you walk, Mist? You can get to there. Perfect. No, 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 no. She can get to there. So let's, uh, let's just get her where she's got to go and get her healing on the road. Even if her strength is so pathetic. What, does she salute? She doesn't even do, like, an actual healing thing? Like, yes, sir, I'm healing you. Woohoo! And so forth. I'm just going to hold on to that person. He's just strolling. He's doing his badass thing. Alright, Ike. Speak to this, this funky junk. Right. Can you not talk to... Oh, that's right. I need this guy to talk to him. He's got to do the speaking on behalf of that silly person. Because that person is silly. And I am dropping frames. 